Hey, how about we create your psychological portrait using optical illusions? You game? The rules are simple. Just remember the first thing you saw in the picture. Now, if you see a horse in this picture, you're a very valuable friend. You have excellent communication skills, and you're very confident and reliable. But if the first thing you saw here is the horse's head, it may mean you're critical of everything and the opinion of others can't throw you off the path. The next illusion. Those who saw a crocodile here love a quiet life and don't like to open up to something new. But if you saw a boat, you're more creative than other people and pay attention to small details. Those who see a young woman here have an analytical mind and use their left brain more. If you see an old man, you're likely to be a very gentle and sensitive person who can be very empathetic to other people. You're more creative, and you use the right side of your brain. The white pillars in the picture mean you like comfort and safety. But you should leave the comfort zone to gain more experience and achieve something new. But if the first thing you see is the silhouettes of two men, then you're the kind of person who doesn't sit in place and is ready to move constantly. Are these flowers or a woman's face? If it's flowers for you, then you appreciate the world you live in and just love nature. And if the first thing to draw your eye was a woman's face, then you have a great ability to highlight details from the environment that will help you to make the right decision. If an orange explosion is painted for you here, you have incredible leadership qualities. But if the first thing you see in this picture is black fingers, then you're a very compassionate, generous, and kind person. Hey, did you see two faces here? You're an extrovert. You're social, and you're constantly thinking about other people. But you also get influenced easily, so try to surround yourself only with good people. But if you see a candlestick here, you're the exact opposite. You think more about yourself than about other people, and you like to sit at home rather than having noisy parties with a bunch of people. Ooh, this one is scary. If you see a skull here, it means it's hard for you to make decisions and move forward. But you need to find the courage and overcome the circumstances. It's the only way for you to become stronger. And if you see a woman, you're probably feeling like a squeezed lemon, both emotionally and physically. Perhaps you have just ended a difficult period in your life. In any case, stay on the bright side. Now, if you see trees here, you must be an ambitious person who loves to bring everything to perfection. If you saw the roots at the first moment, it means you're a progressive person who strives for improvement. If the whole picture looked like dark lips to you, then you're a person who doesn't like to go deep into something and study too much. Hey, were those chocolate lips? Now, what do we have here? Is it a river and a cliff? Then you're an optimist who adapts easily to the changes in life. But if the first thing you see is a white cat, then you like stability, and you're in an emotional and mental balance. And you're a cat lover, of course. And if you see a face here, then you're a very creative person. You see a new opportunity in every detail of the world, and you're very curious. Whoa, is this an explosion? Then you're easily scared. You often feel fear of something new and unknown. You may even be in conflict with yourself. But if you see a passionate kiss in the smoke, then you value relationships and family the most in life. This is the highest priority for you. Ooh, cute bears. If you saw them first, then you can easily solve problems. You see a picture from far away, notice all the details, and can find the best solution. But if for you, this picture is a mountain landscape, then you are a more intuitive person. You're guided by your sixth sense when decision-making. Are you a realist? If you saw a big blue cat here, then yes. You don't have much fantasy, but you see the world as it is, and it helps you make plans on how to conquer it. If a little mouse hits your eyes first, you can see the positive even in the worst-case scenario. For you, the glass is always half full. The next illusion. If you see a girl at the window, then be careful. This may suggest that you expect something unpleasant to happen. And you're also probably an impulsive person. 
If you see a skull here, then you're pessimistic. Your friends may call you a cynic, but you consider yourself a realist. Creativity against analytics? Hmm, what do you see? If the red saxophonist is the first thing you see, then you are a person who likes to systematize and analyze information. You must be good at math and foreign languages. And if you see a portrait of a woman here, then you're an emotional and creative person. Is it a bird? Then you're a daydreamer, though a little absent-minded. But you strive to make the world a better place and invent ways to do so. And if there's a big face of a lion here, then you're a very brave person who's ready to face their insecurities and come out the winner of any fight. And here we have crocodiles? Then maybe you like to be in charge and manage your life. Orders from other people make you suffer because you're a natural leader. If you see a bird in the middle, you're ready to help others. You're reliable and friendly. Okay, if the first thing you see here is a car, then you're a person who appreciates their freedom. You like to break away on an unexpected journey, meet new people, and see new places. If you saw a person with binoculars, it means you have an analytical type of thinking and you like to look at things from afar, often missing small details. And although you can absorb a lot of visual information, you should focus on the smaller things too. If you saw the letter A, then congratulations! You have a very sharp vision, just like an eagle. So hey, you can dive on a salmon. And you have well-developed intuition. Oh, this one is harder. If you're a girl and you've seen a man's face here, then either you're looking for a partner or your current partner is a priority in your life and you feel a strong emotional connection with him. But if you see a woman's face, then you feel comfortable and self-sufficient. Guys who saw a man's face are concerned about relationships with other men, whether they are colleagues, friends, or even other guys in the gym. And if you see a female face, you're looking for your love. But take your time, or else you may push too hard. This is a test for Super Sherlock. Of course, it's two squirrels, right? Well, that means you're pretty lazy, and you don't get too much into details. Now, tilt your head a little to the left. Now, you can see a woman's face. But if that's what you saw from the beginning, then you're an incredibly attentive person who can get along well with other people. And now, we will determine your psychological age. If the first thing you saw was old people's faces, then you have already lived a long and colorful life. You definitely have something to remember. But if you see a young couple sitting next to each other, then you're young and all the fun is waiting for you. Now, be ready to give a quick answer. Remember what you see first. Let's go! If you notice a smiling face, you're an optimist. If it's the open book, you're smart and have a well-developed intuition. If it was roses, you're calm and kind. The tilted cross means that you're faithful. Balloons mean cheerfulness and good imagination. If the first thing you saw was a heart, then you're gentle and affectionate. The lion's face means that you're fearless. And if at first you notice the tie, you're determined and diligent. Oh, and if you saw the ice cream cone, then it's time for an eye exam, because there wasn't one in the picture. (laughs) They say seeing is believing, but is it really? Optical illusions have a mind-boggling way to trick our brains. They use a combination of color, light, or particular patterns that can make us see things that aren't there. Today, we're taking our brains for a test drive and seeing how these illusions work. Let's start easy. Behind all of these little black dots, there's an image. Are you part of the 1% of people that can see it? It's a minion. Congrats if you spotted that. Here's another one in this style. Can you see what's hidden here? It's a ninja turtle. Honestly, you did need to be a bit of a ninja to see that one. And what about this one? It's Homer Simpson. So now there's something hidden behind black stripes. 
How's your x-ray vision working? You got it if you said it's one of the dragons from How to Train Your Dragon. That's cute. We're moving on to phase two, so this will get a little bit trickier, okay? Your task is to find the fourth object in each image. You have seven seconds to spot all four items. Three, two, one, go! Hmm, did anyone find the straw by any chance? Anyways, could you spot the nail? What was hardest for you to find? The egg or the button? So now we're going to step up our game. This is medium level difficulty and you'll have 7 seconds to find all 4 items. Ready? Go! Hmm, did anyone find the french fries? I sure didn't. Up next, four women and a baby. Yikes, this is hard. Could anyone spot the hair comb? Here's another one for you. Where on earth was that banana hiding? Good luck with this next one. So the envelope is hiding behind the bathroom pipe. I love black and white. But I'm still searching for that white egg if you ask me. If this were my room, my mom would be telling me to clean it up ASAP. -y. It took me a while to find that little birdie, but the mission was successful. Good morning, y'all. Oh, bummer, I couldn't find the book, could you? What object can't you find here? I had trouble locating the brush. Too many details, too little time. I have to say, you do have a pretty good eye for detail. But we're changing the game now. You know what they say. You need to keep changing the stimulus to make your brain work better and better. So now, it's emoji time. You'll have four seconds in this round. Did you see that one of them didn't have laughing tears? Where's the really sad emoji? And here I was thinking that clowns were supposed to be happy. I guess we all have our bad days, huh? What about this one? Oh, it's the browless one, isn't it? Can you spot the odd one? Oh, so it's a dairy-free burger. There's one with a different grim on its face. That's the one! I think your eyes are pretty warmed up now. So we'll move on to some hard-level optical illusions, okay? This first one is called the Impossible Triangle. But wait, what makes it so impossible? You have seven seconds to figure that out. The so-called Penrose Triangle is also known as the Impossible Triangle because it could never exist in reality. This magical triangle defies the laws of Euclidean geometry. If you follow the ball sliding on the surface of the triangle from the top point, you'll notice something strange. It looks like the left side of the triangle is extending away from the viewer, while the right side is closer to you. The Penrose Triangle is the type of geometrical figure that can only exist as an optical illusion because this is what it looks like if we dismember it. 
Not a triangle at all, huh? And this next illusion is called the Pac-Man Chaser. You'll see why. Stare at the central cross for five seconds. The image appears to be in motion, doesn't it? And you might also see a green disc appear in between the lilac spheres from time to time. Now this image allows us to witness two illusions simultaneously. Firstly, although the image appears to be in continuous motion, nothing here is moving, we promise. This phenomenon is known as the Phi Phenomenon. It happens when stationary objects are placed side by side and illuminated rapidly one after another, creating an illusion of movement. Now look at the center of the image again. Can you see the green disc? This second illusion is called an after image, and this happens when your brain tries to substitute an item with something else as the original item disappears. But why is it green, you might ask? That's because green is lilac's complementary color. If we were to change the color of the disc to blue, then the color of the gap changes to yellow, which is blue's complementary color. Neat, right? Can you stare at this parrot's eye for 15 seconds? Just keep staring at it. I'll tell you when you can close your eyes. You're about to witness another example of an after image. Three, two, one, and close your eyes. Can you see a red parrot? Isn't it amazing that even though this parrot is black and white, you have the illusion of seeing the color red? Again, this is just your brain trying to guess the color of something. Don't these snakes move beautifully? Except that, um, they're actually stationary. This classic optical illusion is caused by repeating asymmetrical patterns together with specific color schemes. The illusion mixes lighter colors, like yellow and white, with darker shades of blue and black. This combination makes your retina send signals to your brain, claiming that these circles are moving. If you want to debunk this illusion and see things as they really are, you need to stare straight at one part of the image. This way, you'll see that the rotation will slowly come to a stop. Take a look at this image. It looks like the square in the middle is breathing, right? Like it's growing in size and then shrinking? What if I told you that it's just rotating, but not changing its size? Here's what's happening. This illusion is called motion binding. It happens when our brain tries to predict the movement of one of the elements in the image. Crazy stuff! This one's another example of a motion binding illusion. These four bars seem to be moving in parallel with each other, right? Wrong! They are all part of the same moving square. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. Our brain just gets confused. How many bars can you count here? This illusion has left the internet baffled. People have counted as many as 11 bars, but most people count between 8 and 7 bars. According to the creator of this image, there are only 6 complete bars. Try counting from top to bottom, and you'll notice that the upper bars are real. But by the time you get to the 6th bar, things start to get blurry and confusing. That's because the last two bars are incomplete. So when you try making them out, they appear to multiply and only leave you more confused. If you trace your pointer down the 7th and 8th bars, you'll be able to see that they are incomplete. They were only put there to confuse you. Can you tell if the dark blue lines are parallel to each other or inclined? They sure look crooked, but in reality they are not. This classic optical illusion was first described over 100 years ago, but it wasn't until the 1970s that it got its current name, the Cafe Wall Illusion. A guy named Steve Simpson noticed a similar effect on the wall of a cafe in Bristol. And here we are. Now let's see how this works. First, let's blur the image a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. This way you'll be able to see that the dark blue lines are parallel to each other. If you look closely, the little black and white bricks at the intersection of wide lines are what makes this illusion possible. In addition to that, the curved elements inside the blue lines help to make the elusive effect even stronger. If you look at this image attentively, you'll notice a moving square that appears to be changing in tone. What shades do you see? Dark, then light, then dark again? Wrong. The square doesn't change at all. The creator of this illusion is Japanese psychologist and artist Akiyoshi Kitaoka. According to him, you can see your own brain changing its guess about the color of the square. Color is already an illusion created by our brains. It so happens that color is created inside our visual systems. What our eyes perceive as blue is actually a wavelength that is reflected as that color. Moving on, take a look at this staircase. It looks pretty simple, right? Well, now let's flip the image upside down. It still looks like a staircase, but instead of going from right to left, 
It looks like it's going from left to right. But don't blink. If you blink, the illusion will disappear, and you will be left with the original image. Whoa. This illusion is known as Schroeder Staircase, and it was invented by German scientist Heinrich Schroeder back in 1858. It's simple, yet it reveals a fundamental mechanism of how our brain works. If we dismember the staircase, you'll notice that the image is flat. What our brain perceives as a 3D image is just a combination of shadow and light. This means that the 3D itself is already an optical illusion. This happens because our brain captures images and tries to fit them into what it already knows. So it sees a shadow in a 2D image and understands depth. Basically, it creates an unreal perspective of the object in front of our eyes. In this case, we call it a three-dimensional perspective. Up next, look at this black square crisscrossed with perpendicular white lines. If you look attentively, you'll notice that the white dots, situated at the intersection of the grid, shift their color from white to gray and back. When you concentrate on a particular dot, you see that it's white, but as soon as your attention wanders, the dot turns gray. That's the Hermann grid illusion. Amazing, isn't it? We can take this illusion one step further by positioning white dots at the intersection of gray lines. All are placed on top of the black background. If you look at this image long enough, you'll notice black dots starting to pop up at the intersections of the grid, creating a scintillating effect. Another name for this illusion is a simultaneous light contrast illusion. As you perceive the dots as white at one moment, and then, almost immediately, you see them as black. So why do our senses let us down by making us see gray or black instead of white? This illusion demonstrates one of the most important principles of human perception. You don't always see things for what they are. The retinal cells in our eyes act as light receptors. When only one receptor gets illuminated, it perceives more light than when its colleagues are also illuminated. This prevents the firing of nearby receptors. With the Ermann grid illusion, the white lines are arranged in such a way that there's more light around the intersections than along the lines themselves. Thus the dots at the intersections are more inhibited, and you see darker spots. What do you say? Did your eyes pass the test? I guess mine did, but my brain is a little bit tired. See you next time. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. How many colors do you see here? If your answer is 3, you're not wrong. Do you think it's 17? Could be. What? Although the image went viral just recently, the explanation to this mystery is at least a century and a half old. It was discovered by an Austrian math and physics professor, Mach. He noticed you can easily distinguish between similar colors of slightly contrasting shades when they're close to each other. When you set them apart, the difference is barely noticeable. The professor thought it had something to do with the construction of the eyeball and the tissue the retina is made of. The bands effect was later named Mach bands in his honor. Hmm. Years later, when they had better technology, scientists found the professor was basically right. Your retina is similar to a cinema screen. It captures light that's projected through the pupil. Receptors are all over that screen. Some of them are more active under bright light and send a whole lot of signals to the brain. When two cells send similar signals, you might think it's the same shade. Nerves are trying to solve this problem. They send stronger signals to make the difference more obvious at the border of different shades. Your brain then notices a clear boundary. This explains why you can see the difference between similar shades when they're next to each other. The transition between colors can look like a separate color. Some people can't see the difference between contrasting colors in the picture because of how their brains are built. The color rendering abilities, brightness, and contrast of your laptop or smartphone screen is another reason. Then there's also the amount of lighting in your house or office. Plus, you don't have the same optics in your eyes that screen light as anyone else. You also have unique level of pigment density that affects how your eyes absorb light. You could even have more than regular three cone cell types and see more colors than others. And some people are more affected by the Mach bands phenomenon than others. That's why there's no correct answer to how many colors the image contains. Sometimes, uncertainty can make different people see one thing differently. The dress that was somehow gold and white, blue and black, blue and white, and blue and blue at the same time became a real sensation. The picture was taken on a cell phone in a really weird lighting and overexposed. 
You can't tell if it was taken inside or outside, and that means you don't know if it's artificial or natural light. It's not clear if the light illuminates the dress from the front or the back. If it were backlit, there would have to be a shadow. Parts of the dress itself were in shadow. That shadow was reflecting off the dress itself, complicating things even more. Confused? Me too. When your brain doesn't have enough information, it fills in the gaps by making its own assumptions. It mostly makes them based on what it's previously seen or known. That's why your brain could make one guess about lighting conditions and someone else's a totally different one. People who thought it was in a shadow believe the dress was white and gold. Same with those who thought it was in natural light. Shadows and blue sky overrepresent blue light and make things seem yellowish. Oh, and the retailer of the dress officially confirmed it was black and blue, and that it was sold out in the first 30 minutes of business the day after it had gone viral. A new debate over the color of retro sneakers happened a few years later for the same reason. Are they teal and gray, or maybe pink and white? You can't be sure with weird camera quality, flash, and funky lighting. When you zoom in on the picture, you can notice the hand is unnaturally bluish. So, depending on how sensitive your eyes are to light and how your brain fills the visual information gaps, the sneakers can look different to you. In reality, they turned out to be pink and white. Do these strawberries look red to you? In fact, they're gray and green. The picture has been drained of any red. Your brain still makes you see it because of something known as color constancy. Your brain can sometimes ignore information from the color of the light. It knows what strawberries are, and it also knows they're supposed to be red. So it helps you see them as such. Mm. When an astronaut posted a picture of some sand dunes, the internet thought they were pits, not hills. Only when they flipped the pic over, people could see dunes in the indefinite pattern. Turns out your brain thought the sun was in the 1 o'clock position. It means it's supposed to be casting shadows from the upper right. In reality, it was casting shadows from the upper left. So, turning it upside down makes things more usual to your brain. How many black spots can you see in this image? There are 12 of them, but most people can't see them all at once. All the dots are perfectly visible, but you can see each of them only when you look directly at it. Your peripheral vision isn't that perfect. Your brain has to fill in the blanks. The white between gray lines makes it think the dots are lighter than they are, so it decides to pretend there's just grayer and the dots aren't there. Although one of them looks twice the size of the other, these guys are of the same size. They're placed in an Ames room, invented by an American ophthalmologist in the 1940s. You'd have to look into a pinhole at a room that seems to be a regular square but is a trapezoid. The walls and ceilings are tilted, and this makes your eyes see one person tower over another even when they move around. If you have a toy train track at home, you can see how the next illusion works in reality. You take two segments of the same size and put them next to each other. One of them looks obviously larger than the other one. That's because your brain compares the two sides of the pieces that are next to each other. It compares the right side of the track that's on the left to the left side of the track that's on the right. When you compare squares A and B in the checker shadow illusion, you can tell square A is much darker than square B. Mm. Your brain expects the cylinder to throw a shadow on the board. It compensates for the alternating colors it expected to find. If you still don't believe the squares are of the same color, you can compare them with a color selector in any photo editing program. In the Ebbinghaus illusion, the two circles in the middle of their circle sets are of the same size. Turns out the way you perceive the size of things is all about context. The circle surrounded by larger ones seems smaller, and the one in the company of smaller circles seems to be a giant. There are 12 dots here, all of them are lilac. Your task is to stare at the cross in the middle of the dot ring. As one lilac dot disappears for a moment, a green dot takes its place. It also gradually wipes away other lilac dots one by one as it moves around the circle. This is the after-image effect in action. The rods and cones adjust to the constant disappearance of lilac dots. 
they replace it with a color from the opposite end of the spectrum, which is green. Seeing motion in a still image is one of the most common types of optical illusions. To create one, you have to build a pattern of high contrast colors. They activate neural signals at the same time. This is how the fake motion effect appears. Cafe wall illusion was first described in the late 19th century. The tile pattern of a cafe wall had straight parallel lines and grout in between them. It seemed the black and white lines sloped diagonally. That's because different types of neurons in your brain react to dark and light colors. Some parts of the grout line seem brighter than others. Where there's contrast, there appears to be asymmetry.